Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome to part 57 of my ultimate guide to Logic Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Note Repeater MIDI Effects plugin in Logic. This is a fairly simple MIDI Effects plugin compared to the others, so this tutorial should be short and sweet and fairly simple to follow along with. And if you want to work along with me, you can download this Logic project for free in the video description below. But before I get into the tutorial, I want to quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox. If you're a music producer or mixing engineer like me, you'll really love the collaboration and commenting tools at boombox.io. With Boombox, you can upload finished tracks for your clients or share stems or multi-tracks with the batch upload feature. Invite your clients as collaborators who can then leave timestamped feedback on their tracks. Make revisions to the tracks based on your client's feedback and upload new versions of the track until it's finished. You can even keep your clients from downloading the final mix until they pay their final bill. Head over to boombox.io and sign up for a free account today to get four gigabytes of free storage. Okay, so let's give this project a listen. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the note repeater. I'll bypass it here. And basically what I've done is I've added a different section here with just some chords and some bass notes that are all on the downbeats of each bar. So it's fairly boring, fairly simple. So my favorite thing to use the note repeater for is repeating notes and creating some cool sequences without having to you know, dig into the complexity of the arpeggiator. So the note repeater is exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to repeat notes. And it repeats notes in a rhythmic fashion, depending on the delay time you have set up here. So really the note repeater is like a MIDI delay, whereas a MIDI audio effect like the tape delay or the stereo delay, that's affecting the audio signal. With the note repeater, this is a delay that just affects the MIDI signal. So I've got this loaded up on the verse pluck chords. And again, without the note repeater, it sounds like this. If I turn on the note repeater and just use the default setting, it sounds like this. So I have the delay time set to an eighth note. You can set this to pretty much any musical value you can think of ranging from two full bars all the way up to 64th note triplets. And you can also uncheck this button here to synchronize this in milliseconds rather than in MIDI beat clock values. But typically it's best to synchronize things to musical values and this will follow the tempo of your project. Then what you can do is you can set how many repeats you want. So if I just want one little echo, like one repeat, I would set this to one repeat. So you're gonna hear the original dry signal plus the repeated note. Additionally, you can transpose the repeated note. So you can transpose this up or down by up to 24 semitones. And remember that 12 semitones is an octave. So if I want the echo to play up an octave, I can totally do that. I just set the transpose to 12 semitones. Now I think one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select all of these verse pluck regions and I'm gonna press shift option down to transpose them down by one octave. Now, in addition to that, you can also add a velocity ramp to the note repeater. So if you put this in the positive, it's gonna make the delayed notes louder or at a higher velocity than the dry signal. And if you pull this over to the left, this will make the delayed notes lower than the dry signal. And really the only other parameter I need to show you is the through button. All this does is it turns the dry signal on or off. So if you have through on, it passes the original MIDI notes through the plugin. So again, you can think of it this as like the dry signal. I know technically speaking, it's not a dry signal because we're not dealing with audio signals here. 
You can think of it more as the original MIDI and then the affected MIDI, or you can think of it as the through MIDI and the affected MIDI. So if I call it the dry signal, wet signal, I basically mean the same thing as the through signal and the affected signal. And if you turn the through signal off, you'll only hear the affected signal. So you'll only hear the note repeats, the delays. And then with through on, you'll hear the original MIDI signal plus the repeated notes. Let's try this out on the bass track here. So I'll go ahead and load up the note repeater here as well. Now, if you get kind of lazy with your bass notes, one little trick you can do is you can set your repeats to the number of bass notes that you want for each bass tone and then set a rhythm for it, like an eighth note. But I think I want something that's a bit more syncopated. I'm gonna try out a dotted eighth note and I'm gonna set the number of repeats to like three or four. Let's try it on three first. Yeah, maybe try, maybe I'll try four. So again, like I've said with the other MIDI effects plugins, we're letting the MIDI effects plugins do some of the work for us and transform these MIDI signals from something simple into something that's more complex. And I know some people will say, well, you can just type the notes in the piano roll or in the step sequencer instead and just forego the use of the note repeater altogether. And that's totally fine if you wanna do things that way. I just find the note repeater really helpful for experimenting with different syncopated rhythms like this on the fly without having to actually go in and edit any of my MIDI data. However, this next example I'm gonna show you is not very easily done in the MIDI editors. Now, another thing I like to use the note repeater for is in conjunction with the arpeggiator. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna duplicate the verse pluck chords track. I'm gonna pull these last two regions down to that duplicate track, and I'm gonna call this verse pluck arps. And on this track, I'm going to temporarily bypass the note repeater, and I'm going to add the arpeggiator before the note repeater. And then one last thing I'm gonna do before I even get into the arpeggiator is I'm gonna open up these chords in the piano roll and I'm going to make them all one full bar in length so I can just select all of them and I'll press shift backslash and then uh, click shorten. And what it'll do is it will extend all of those notes to fill the full duration of each bar. So basically that function gets rid of the gap between the notes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the arpeggiator and I'm gonna to try to uh, build, you know, just a really basic sequence with this. Okay, now for this next step, we need to make sure that the instrument we're using has enough available voices because what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the note repeater after the arpeggiator and delay each note of the arpeggiator up an octave. And in order to do so, we need to make sure that we have enough notes. So if your polyphony is set to like a really low value or if it's monophonic or legato, it's not gonna work. So I've got this set to the maximum polyphony setting. So this should work. Then I'll turn on the note repeater again. I'm gonna repeat this once up an octave and pull down the velocity ramp. Let's just see what this sounds like as is with an eighth note delay. Mm -hmm. 
And if you wanted to go crazy, you could even set this to two repeats. So what you're going to get with two repeats is the original arpeggio, another arpeggio that's delayed by an eighth note up an octave, and then another one that's delayed by a full quarter note up two octaves. And then you can play around with different delay times and see which delay time works best. I think I'm gonna stick with an eighth note. And let's see what all of that sounds like together. And then one last listen from the end of the chorus here into the verse. Okay, so that's how you can use the note repeater in Logic Pro and how you can pair this up with other MIDI effects like the arpeggiator. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.